put your toe in, and then run back to safety. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Curiel and today I am going to be going over my New Year's Eve makeup which is this very pretty teal moment right here. I'm really in love with this look. It turned out so much better than I actually thought it would. Literally on New Year's Eve I was playing about with makeup. I'd been ill throughout the night before and I crawled out of my bed late in the afternoon. I literally just grabbed two of my palettes that I thought hmm I could probably make a look out of this and this is what came out. So I'm gonna go step by step with the eye look. I did include my base and everything but we're gonna speed on through that because it's basically my winter base routine which I did just post so if you want to know in depth and things about that I'll leave the little link up here for you guys. The main focus today is the eyes. I used the Jaclyn Hill palette, the original one, and then the other palette that I used was the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I feel like I loved color on my Instagram, but I didn't really bring it to my YouTube channel, so I kind of want to have little specks of just bright colors throughout my YouTube channel, and I want to do more actual tutorials. Like, it's so fun and I just like sitting down and playing with my makeup. But yeah, if you already like this makeup look, then please give this video a like. And if you're looking forward to more bright, colorful looks and you wanna see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so you get notified of when I upload. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blubbering on now and without further ado, let's get into the eye makeup. Hello, damn. <laughs> we are very up close and personal right now because I really wanted you to see exactly what I'm doing. Ignore my under eye, I've actually put an eye mask on because they were looking particularly dry and crusty under there. First thing I did was go in with the P. Louise base. This is just so amazing for blended eyeshadows. It's not too expensive. It's kind of like a medium price and it's £10 for the base. This is actually the full size product which is £10 but I'm still using up a mini one. Honestly this stuff lasts so long. So I feel like if you're looking for an eye base that one really works well with colors and isn't too high end, then this one is amazing. So I just put a few dots on. That is more than enough, probably actually too much. <laughs> and then I take the Morphe M224 brush, which is like a flat concealer kind of brush. And I just pack and pat it into the lid. And I'm bringing it past my brow and kind of towards my temple. I also bring it right into the inner corner and just past the brow in the front. Just make sure that everything kind of like blends seamlessly. So now this is all done, I am not going to set it. This is key. If you want to get very vibrant colors and you want to get impact with the shadows, leave your base wet. Even if you're using just concealer and you're not using this base. If you're having problems with pigmentation, just try leaving your base wet. For the first color, I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking the color Jada. Or Jada. I'm not quite sure how it's said. <laughs> but it's like the nice pop of teal. And I'm taking it on the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. And I'm going right into the crease with this. And I'm just packing the shadow on. I'm not swiping. I'm literally packing it on into the crease. And just shaping out the crease shape that I want. But I am just packing this on until it's the color intensity that I want. This color is pretty pigmented, so it doesn't take that much building. Now I've packed that on, I'm going in with this very bright green from the BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm taking it on the 224 Luxe Defined Crease Brush by Zoeva. And I'm going 50% over the teal and 50% on the base. I'm just doing tiny circular motions, which go towards my eye. One thing that I've noticed with all these Instagram makeup artists and things is they bring it in towards the eye. Unless you want to really wing it out, if you bring it towards, it stops you over blending and bringing it up too high towards the brow. If you bring the circles down, it helps blend a lot better and stops the color fluffing everywhere. I'm just gonna go back in with the teal color. I haven't added any more color. I'm just literally using the excess on the brush and I'm just going over those edges just to make sure it's all blended 100%. When I was putting this look together, I was kind of, I'm in an R in whether to use a yellow to blend out the edges, but I quite like 
the green. So then what I did is I took the teal colour again and I've packed it on the outer half of my eye, just slowly fading it in and connecting it with the outer corner. And I just reinforced the colour in my crease as well by just going over it one more time. So now it's time to deepen up the outer corner a little bit. So I went back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I've used the colour Enchanted. This colour almost looks black but it's really a deep foresty green, like a very dark foresty green. So it works really well with this look. I'm using a Morphe M507 brush to do this. So what I'm doing with this is I'm patting it onto the lid and then using soft wiggle motions to blend it into the teal. I love this combo. I just feel like these colours blend so well together. And I'm tucking it just under the crease. I'm not going above where we placed that teal colour, but I'm just going underneath it. And you can see it just adds like such a nice depth to the look. I'm just gonna take this slightly into the crease as well and slightly across, three quarters of the way across my eye. Just to add depth because we are gonna be kind of cutting the crease. I'm just going back in with the teal. Again, no other product added and I'm just blending over that edge. This is why I do my eye makeup before my face makeup by the way. With these colours when you're packing on the shadows sometimes you can get pull out. I mean this is not bad. <laughs> so next I'm kind of going to cut the crease but only with shadow because this is just going to be a base colour for something we're going to put over top. So I'm going to go in with the colour from the Jaclyn Hill palette again and it's called Pool Party and I'm using a 234 Smoky Shader Brush from Zoeva and then just taking my Morphe 507 with no extra product and I'm just gonna blend the edge of the darker green with the metallic. And now, honestly, is really the star of the show. Cause this is pretty and you can stop here if you want to, but this, this made the look. This is the Peaches and Cream Mermaids pigment. It's a white pigment that shifts blue and green. It's got a little bit of pink in there as well. Like, oh my God, it looked so good. For this, I would suggest using some kind of glitter glue just because it is a pigment to get it to kind of behave and not fluff everywhere you really need something to put it on. I've been using the Beauty Bakery sprinkles glue and it's just a clear kind of liquid and it doesn't feel sticky which is what I really like. I am just gonna go over the swimming pools colour that we added. I'm gonna use the Morphe M421 brush which is a tiny little packing brush and I just stamp. Look at the shears, oh my god. These are so freaking good. And I'm just cutting the crease of where we put that swimming pools colour. Once I've got the kind of shape down, I just pat around and then I start buffing it because this is really gonna bring out the kind of duochrome. I feel like the camera isn't even doing this justice, but it's so freaking pretty. And then when I get to the edges, I just take the excess. It's kind of like when you kind of dip your toe in the water, you kind of go put your toe in and then rub back to safety. Put your toe in and then rub back to safety. That's pretty much what I'm doing with my brush. So I'm kind of coming out, then coming back in. Going out and coming back in. It just blends pigment really nicely. I hope that description helped somebody out there. <laughs> Probably not, but I can hope. So now I'm just gonna tight line my eyes and I'm using the Revolution Pro Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner and this is in the color brown. So I'm just gonna quickly tight line. I'm going back to the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm going into the black with a very tiny angled brush creating a soft eyeliner effect right at the baseline. B -b 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 baseline. I'm sorry. <laughs> So that is pretty much the top of the eye completely done apart from lashes and mascara. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go do the other eye off camera and then we'll do the base makeup and finish up the rest of the eye look. So see you in a minute. So I'm quickly going to go through what I put as my base. As I said, I have already done a video on this. I'm just using the Smashbox Primerizer Primer with the Professional by Benefit. And then I'm using this Kiko Illuminizing Primer. It's a three-in-one base, but I like using it just to bring light underneath the foundation because I'm using quite a matte foundation. This is a Conceal and Define Foundation by Makeup Revolution. And I'm using the Jouer Full Cover Concealer mixed with the Barry M All Night Long Concealer. 
I just use my collection powder all over my face and underneath my eyes. And my current favourite bronzer, the BH Cosmetics one. And I contoured a little bit with the Contour Kit by Too Faced. My favourite highlighter, which is the Doll Beauty Doll Light Highlighter. I use a little bit of Rocketeur Blush by Benefit. It's just a kind of muted mauve pink. I set everything with two setting sprays. I use MAC Fix Plus, this is the lavender scent. And then I use the Satin Mist from Maybelline. And I know it's a bit extra using two setting sprays, but I just feel like the MAC one sets everything in place. The actual Maybelline one holds it for longer. And poof, I have brows on. <laughs> for my brows, I use the Benefit Gimme Brow and the Benefit Browsings in the shade 3. Just look at the difference. So now that I've done my base, it's now time to finish up the eyes. It's pretty simple underneath the eyes, but let's get straight to it. So I'm gonna go in with the Jada color, which is the first teal color that we used in the Jaclyn palette. And I'm gonna use the 234 Smoky Shader Brush, which is what I used all over the lid, but I literally just put it on the tip of the brush around here. And I'm just gonna start by placing it just underneath my lash line. And I've just connected it to the outer shadow. I don't bring it all the way in though, I leave the inner third of the lash line bare because we're going to be adding some special there later. Once I've done that I'm going in with the Morphe M562 brush which is this teeny tiny dense but fluffy blending brush and I'm going back into that bright green that we used in the transition and I'm gonna blend out the teal colour. Basically you're doing exactly what you did in the crease but on the lower lash line. And I am also blending this outer edge of the shadow to really kind of like round it out and bring it all together and make it look like it's all connected as one. Like our pride is inside, we are one. Name that movie and you get a thousand points because we are soul siblings if you manage to get that one. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my highlight, which is the Doll Beauty, this blinding beauty, and I'm gonna take a little bit of it and put it in my inner corner. Once I've added the Doll Beauty highlight, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with the Mermaid's pigment, and I'm going to dot this over top of the highlight just to bring in that shine but also kind of blend it with the highlight as well okay so I know it feels like we've been here for ages and we probably have but this is the final final touch to this look as in eyeshadow wise obviously you need mascara and lashes I really wanted to add some more shine even though it really doesn't need any more shine I wanted to add some more shine okay don't don't judge me so I took the revolution glitter paste in power hungry which is this gorgeous champagne -y gold it's so freaking pretty I've like used this so much especially around Christmas time like look I've like hit pan I don't think you can see that but I've hit pan on this stuff it's so easy to use it says that you don't need a glitter glue but I would suggest using one so I've taken this really thin liner brush and I'm literally just putting it underneath on the inner corner on my lash line and I'm just joining it up to my highlight and blending it with the green. Oh by the way I forgot to mention I know the audio quality in my last video was kind of dire like it was kind of really bad um so I've ordered a mic Hopefully it's going to be better audio quality for you guys. Okay, so now I'm just going to curl my lashes and shove on some mascara. I'm using the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. I'm going to use my favourite lashes at the moment and it's the Doll Beauty Lash in Selena. They are so wispy and pretty. As I let my mascara dry, I might as well tell you what I put on my lips. I used the Milani Lip Liner in 09 Spice. Over the top, I went with the Nikki Tutorials and Ofra collaboration in Nude Potion. And then I did go over with a gloss, which was the Slip Tease Lip Lacquer by NYX in the shade Let's Get Physical. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I really love this look. Like, look at that shine from that pigment, the Mermaid's pigment is so so pretty. But yeah, I hope you guys like this. This year I really want to try and incorporate more colour, go a little bit bolder with my makeup looks, and this was definitely 
the first one of the year. If you guys did like this makeup look and you'd like to see more looks like this from me, then don't forget to leave a little thumbs up on the video. That helps me out so much because I know what you guys want then. If you want to see more looks like this and you want to see what I'm bringing in 2019, then don't forget to hit the little subscribe button. I think a goal of mine this year is to make it to 500 subscribers. Can we do it? The year is young. I believe in us. I think we can reach 500 this year. It would mean the world to me if we did. I just want to grow this little space that we have and have fun and I hope my videos are just somewhere that you come to at the end of the day to escape whatever you've been doing and you just want to chill and just watch whatever content that I make may not be stupid or actually informative. <laughs> All right I'm gonna stop rambling your ears off. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I hope you've had a good start to the year and yeah I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys. Into the inner corner, but not all the way down into the very inner. I'm kind of leaving about three quarters of, I'm kind of leaving, and I packed it onto the outer. Oh my God, can I please speak normally? What's going on? Which is, which it almost looks back, I'm going back into the beach because that is taking me back to what? I'm going into the black with a very tiny <laughs> When it seems all your dreams come up and up Tears of pain, tears of joy One thing nothing can destroy is our pride deep inside We are one When you wish upon a star Makes no difference who you are I need to chill with this thing, like just stop